I mean, we we gonna talk about we gonna talk a lot about football. We might as well get into this HBCU stuff, baby. My Jackson State, Alabama State, Eddie Robinson Jr. <laughs> Coach Eddie Robinson Jr. Coach Prime. Um, you know, a lot of stuff that I went into. It. I'm sure you know a little more details about it than I do. I but, mean, uh, I, it's crazy. I mean, I, I really don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I follow a lot of um, folks that, you know, covers media in the HBCU space. And obviously, you know, I I, I keep track on it. But, um, you know, I guess Saturday, you know, Eddie Robinson Jr. coaches for um, Alabama State and uh, mm-hmm. their homecoming. They had Jackson State on their schedule for homecoming. Home, that's already that's already that's one right that's, that's already that's strike one and then i was seeing a lot of people talking about like well you know those schedules are <clears throat> are made two three years in advance like i don't care like that's from <laughs> fact that's from that starts from peewee if you if i'm on your schedule for your homecoming that means you you think i'm some shit. you think it's gonna be an easy win so i don't shit, care shit shit sweet. when it was scheduled Hey, that's that's strike one. Um, but to get to the story, you know what I mean? They, I guess, prime. Um, I ain't gonna say, I guess, prime does his routine walk around the field at every, mm-hmm. I guess, every every game. So, um, I think you know, they might have arrived late at the, at the game. The game wasn't played yet. He tried to, um, well, he made his walk around the field, cutting through, um, you know, uh. Alabama State's team, you know, they felt some type of way about that. They felt like, you know, hey, doing doing their pregame. When they, yeah, like, hey, don't walk through our team. Okay. I can understand that. You know what I mean? But again, on the flip side, if this is some document that this man does every game, that's his routine. We all know how certain people are about their routines. Boom. It ain't got nothing to do with that. You warming up, cause you you late. It ain't I fought you late. You right. But on my end, this is my routine. I'm sticking to my routine. And I feel you. I'm I'm 100% with you. And I'm 100% with you. Because I know real talk in the HBCU, you know, community, especially the band. Yo, when the band line up, don't walk through our, don't walk through our shit. So I get it. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I get it. You know, the game is played. Jackson State. Um, beats Alabama State. Um, Coach Eddie Robinson Jr. felt like um, the game was won. They didn't have any more timeouts, and I think they ended up trying to go. Uh, Jackson State ended up going up top on the boards. Ran a double uh, move. Double move. He didn't, he didn't like that, so I think he started sending the blitz or whatever. <laughs> you know, again, again, I don't have a problem with none of that. <laughs> He said he tried to double move. We said the gas. We try to hurt your backup quarterback. Hey, look, I don't got a problem with neither one of them moves. Again, it's homecoming. You know what I'm saying? You schedule, we on your we on your schedule. We on your on the schedule for homecoming. Yeah. Um, and then after the game, after the game, you know, coaches meet in the middle of the field, dap up, try to score. To... You got your mic still. Oh, a little heated exchange there in midfield, but. Play that back real quick. We got the micro. Hold on. Oh, score. Oh, a little heated exchange there in midfield. But so you know, Prime try to come in with the with the with the embrace. Goes Eddie Robinson Jr. Like nah, so the hand in the chest. So Eddie Eddie just wanted to quit. He wanted that, and Prime was going for the like yeah, you know. And this is nah. something we see. We see this all the time, you know what I mean? Coaches getting their feelings, brother. So, like you said, it's a a late double move, games in in hand, um, or something else happened maybe during the week, or maybe you just a, a sore loser. You know, I, I've seen all of these different type of things happen for coaches and these head coaching uh, midfield post game exchanges. Yeah. Uh, but Prime looked a little surprised. You know, he looked a little shocked. At, shocked. Obviously, Eddie Robinson was over there steaming. Right. Uh, <laughs> he was like, "Hey, we didn't talk before the game. You walk. He said you took the long way around. You walked through our warm ups. 
Uh, I was standing at the 50-yard line. This is all the things he said in his post-game press conference. I was at the 50-yard uh, line. We didn't speak at all before the game. Uh, and then I think last season these two teams played too, right? Yeah, and um, and I and I don't think um, I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but I think Alabama State won though. Alabama State won, and they they put one of old Prime's uh, Coach Prime's pitches on the jumbo on the jumbotron. Yeah, you know what I mean, and you know, Coach Prime was like, "What? Well, sure, it wasn't no disrespect then." You know what I'm saying? So for me, like I, so where you where you at? Where you, where you stand on this, AB? Man, look at here, HBCU Hall of Famer. Not yet. I ain't, I ain't in there yet. I'm gonna get there though. Speaking but, into an existence. But but I, I just feel like Coach Eddie Robinson Jr. You don't got. I'm cool with you being salty. Like you lost homecoming. Like you know all the alumni there. You lost homecoming. I get that. Um. And I, uh, on Alabama State side as well, I get why you feel a certain type of way that coach walk through your through your um your warm ups. I get mm -hmm. that. I also get if I'm a if I'm a man that I'm a stickler on my routine. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna disrespect you. Yeah, I'm and gonna, I, I didn't. You did you feel? I didn't feel like it was disrespectful. No, I didn't. I didn't. You, you saw it, right? Looking at it, I didn't think it was disrespectful. But again, I I understand on the Alabama State side, yeah. yo, you walking through our shit. I get that. Um, I also get prime. They win. They win at somebody else's homecoming. You feeling good? You know, you thinking it's all love. It's all in the game. It's all competition. <laughs> I come. I'm trying to dab you up, like yo. I you know I see you next time. Yeah, game I over. Get that. On the flip side. I get 100% why Eddie Robinson Jr. was like, nah, like, you know what I mean? Like, nah, I'm good. And he and he stated his reasons why he felt like that. You know, the only the only thing I had a, 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 a issue with was at the end when he was, um, when Coach Eddie Robinson Jr. was talking about um, Coach Prime ain't swag. Yeah, yeah, same. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't swag, I'm swag. And I take issue to that. For one, I played in HBCU, and I just know how people look down on HBCUs. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? As far as um, when we're talking about sports, and when we're talking about trying to come together, like that's that's when people see that divide. You know what I mean? It it doesn't help the cause. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, coach Coach Prime didn't go to an HBCU. He didn't attend an HBCU. But I feel like what he's doing for HBCUs right now, him coaching a team that's in the SWAC. Yeah. I think all HBCUs are benefit from that. Facts. Got a two sons playing there too. Exactly. Again, I get if Coach Eddie Robinson Jr. was salty because you know the things that 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 happened um through the game, but that's the only part that I had a problem with. All that other stuff, shit, that comes with it. Talking Come with it, shit. yeah. Feeling a certain type of way, whatever that that comes with it. All right, well, that's cool. Y'all gonna meet each other next year. Y'all gonna play. Everybody's gonna be waiting for this game. It's gonna be sold out. Like everybody's going. It's gonna be whatever. You go out there, you play on the field. But that's the only issue I had, you know, in this whole this whole situation. Yeah, same. I'm with you. All right, Cause like you same with you. I understand both sides. I understand the. Uh, walking through our pregame joint and them feeling some type of way about it. I understand the routine thing with Coach Prime, uh, the saltiness, the homecoming. Hey, I was at a homecoming. It's FIU <laughs> scheduled us, UConn Huskies. The UConn Huskies scheduled us for their for they homecoming. Yeah, we, we fell off a little bit. We ain't quite what we used to be. We getting back. You scheduled us for your homecoming? Oh, no, nah, we got issue with that. So we came down here, handled business. I made sure to let all the alumni know, T.Y. Hilton, Jonathan Sipper, all the all the FIU alumni know, and that's just it's just a little extra something when it's homecoming. Like you said, I don't care Pee Wee, high school, college, shit, even um in the league. Sometimes coach would be in, hey, they got all their alumni out there. Yeah, they, you know they get they putting. We don't really care about it, but it's a little something extra to get you. A little bit more juice. So uh I get it, man. I definitely get it. But like you said, man, I, I have a problem 
with the, you know the whole you ain't swag thing and you know knowing eddie robinson jr's history and his pops and all that i understand and, and obviously respect that absolute legend absolutely um but you know there's no need for that you he, he had coach jackson state and like i said he got his sons playing there as well and uh and he, and he said some of that in his well, he was he talking did. too, he like, hey, you know, he gave respect, yeah, yeah, he gave respect. Big fan of uh, Coach Prime, great player. Everybody wanted to be him growing up. He got a son, he should be in a Heisman conversation. So, he definitely spoke on all that. But you know, emotions get the best of us sometimes, no. you know, no. like you said, we got the alumni there, it is homecoming. We did our thing, beat them last year, we lost this year. You feeling shitty about some other things, and now all that stuff come to. To the top once you get to L because like you said when we spoke about it he was like if you'd have got that dub it would have definitely been a half feel like man. yo what's good all right see you next year man safe travels back you know? safe travels back man always good to see you brother uh-huh. but uh we we you know it is what it is it's part of the sports uh part of sports but like you said hate to see it um and obviously we want as much positive attention going to the HBCUs as possible. And I think that will continue. But um, I'll be tuning in next year. Oh, man. And these two teams play for show. Oh, man. But, you know, I think that they'll, they'll, they'll talk about it. Two, two, two grown men, you know, yeah. leading young man. you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> two leaders. So they, they'll, they'll talk about it eventually. Right. And, you know, it'll end wherever it ends. But it happens. We, yeah. we saw this with uh, Coach Prime and, and – Coach Saban, when Saban was taking shots, mm-hmm. the boys, I guess, talked about it, hashed it out. But um, it is what it is. 